I have an educational background from Auckland University. Uh, I obtained my BSc there and then I went on to do a Masters uh, and my thesis topic was looking at the Bola Shivens telescope and a search for gamma rays in the southern hemisphere. And after that, I decided to change direction and moved on to a, an undergrad diploma in biological sciences at Auckland University. And then, uh, furthering my education, I decided to combine my skills in both biological sciences and physics to do a PhD on mathematical and numerical modeling of bacterial colony growth on high nutrient surfaces. And having completed that, I went on to do a postgraduate diploma in biological sciences. And then uh, before, and back, uh, before I was able to uh, continue a, an academic career, I was looking for postdoctorate positions. And then the editing opportunities came up and I ended up doing that full time instead of pursuing an academic career. So I don't, because of that, I don't have a huge publication record, but I've published a few papers, uh, notably one in um, the Springer Handbook of Nanomaterials, which was uh, a review paper called Understanding Bacterial Colonies, which was published in 2009. Uh, and another one was Spatiotemporal spatio Modeling of Bacterial Colony Growth on Solid Media, which was published in Molecular Biosciences in 2008. Now in between all that, while I was completing my PhD, I com also completed a paid project for Environment Waikato uh, in New Zealand, looking at the geothermal features uh, in the Waikato region. So I also have a report published on that for Environment Waikato. Uh, now after going on to do my get my editing experience. I completed editing in a wide range of topics. So I've done everything from mathematics to uh, bioinformatics, neuroinformatics, uh, computer modeling, lots on physics, lots on engineering, uh, and lots on top diverse topics like architecture. So when I am editing, I take my editing jobs very seriously, whether they're large or small, I put my best effort into it. One thing that I try and do, which I've learned to do over the years, is to try and preserve the author's voice while I am editing their paper to make it uh, academically acceptable for high-end academic journals. So this is uh, quite a skill and I'm still acquiring it really. But I do have, uh, I've been editing full-time since 2013, so I'm homing my skills and as the editor, I always try and give my clients the best job that I possibly can. And so I'm going to end this short video by saying that editing is where I am right now and is where I hope to continue and I hope to keep learning and growing my skills. Thank you for listening.